make up our nation's middle class as well. The increase and the expansion of the child tax credit is one of the most important, one of the most impactful parts of the need to know. First, the child tax credit is now higher than it was before. It's bigger than it was before. So for children six years and over, it was $2,000 per child. Now it is $3,000 per child. And for children who are six years old and under, it is now 3,600 per child. Because part of what we know is that the cost of living keeps going up, but wages have remained stagnant in many parts of our country. So we need to meet the demands, again, on our families. And that extra $1,000, that extra $1,600, well, you know what that means. That could cover a month of rent, a few months of groceries, an entire year of diapers, right? So it makes a big difference. The second thing we need you to know is that the child tax credit covers more families than it did before. So more families will qualify. Every American family making $150,000 or less will receive the full credit. So many families making more than that will receive partial credit. But under $150,000, full credit. And for the president and me, this is about fairness. American families need this support. And we want to make sure that regardless of their income, that our families receive it. The third thing that we need folks to know is something I've been working on for quite some time now, which is families will receive this credit, and it's been mentioned already, families will receive this credit every month instead of as a lump sum at the end of the year. Well, and all of you are clapping because you know why. People got to pay their bills every month. People got to pay the rent every month. You got to buy groceries frequently. <laughs> so we want to make sure that we are actually helping families, right? And that means taking some of the pressure off of those monthly, if not daily, responsibilities. In fact, the IRS estimates that 30 million, or 39 million households will see checks and direct deposits starting in July. 39 million. There we go. So, right? Those are all the benefits, but now let's talk about how to get it. If you file taxes for 2019 or 2020, or if you signed up with the IRS to receive a stimulus check in 2020, you're good. You don't have to do anything extra. You will get the child tax credit automatically. But what we need to get the word out, okay, is that if you want to get the monthly payments, which are going to start July 15th, and if you did not file taxes, in 2019 or 2020, or if you did not sign up with the IRS to receive a stimulus check, you have to take action. You have to take action. Okay, you have to do something to get it. And you'll be qualified, but you have to do something to actually get the checks. And so what you need to do, and I'm gonna give you a website, because how could I be here without a website? <laughs> childtaxcredit.gov, okay? So visit childtaxcredit.gov and fill out the simple form. And that's it. And then the monthly payments will start coming.